Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite 666 and you are watching me play Guild Wars 2 Path of Fire. We are back here in the mists doing things to try to get places to find to talk to the human gods. And now a bunch of spirits have shown up. Ritlock has things to say. Are we done here or what? I don't think so. I bet those spirits that ju just showed up might know. We could go beat them up and find out, but then Kazel complains, so... Yeah, let's talk to him first. Let's talk to you, Zatlem. To pass into truth, you must answer my question correctly. Only then will I give you the seal of loyalty. Who are you? I am Zatlem. The handmaid... A handmaiden of... Where'd you go? Handmaiden of Cormir, I represent loyalty, one of the eight virtues of the Sun Spears. I'm ready for your test. You are a farmer in charge of working the land for your lord, a kind and benevolent man. One of your fellow workers asks you for a light for lighter work so that she may rest sooner. What do you do? Hmm, do I give her permission and distribute the rest of her load to the others? Do I refuse and ask her to work her fair share? Or do I reduce her workload and take on the burden, or her burden of responsibility? What was she, what was she the, what was her bit virtue? Uh, um. I'd say kick him in the shins. That's not an option, unfortunately. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, I'm kind and benevolent. So, I'm going to reduce her workload and take on her burden. Correct! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! You have passed my test. I turn around to see my other co-host dropping from the sky on a raptor off in the distance. <laughs> and I sit here and wonder what he is getting himself into. Oh, no. Nope, that's not the right one. That's not the right one. Oh, it's this one with a little thing shining in it that says, Here, put me here! Fits, but the markings don't seem to line up. Hmm. Try giving it a turn or two. Well, of course. Spin the spinny thing in its spinny slot. Oh, exciting! There we go. You must have done something right, Commander. Yeah. Kanak's got talky bits. Making progress, Commander? I'm still figuring out what to do with these discs. Hmm, the discs have symbols on them. Perhaps they need to be lined up. Have you tried rotating them in the socket? Yes, it's like we just had that discussion. <laughs> we just had that discussion. Let's talk to Guibo. Only in acceptance of humility can we find strength. Who are you? My name is Guibo. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I represent the Sun Spear's humility. I humbly seek counsel with the gods. And I bestow upon you, bestow you the seal of humility. May it help you on your journey. Okay, well, that was easier than the last one. I thought that was going to be another test. It's always a puzzle. Well, all right, where does this one go? In there? No. In there? No. In there. I forgot about the shiny bit. Shiny. Next! Let's talk to Verzuk. Compassion is both the beginning and the end of others to understanding. Who are you? You can call me Verzuk. I represent compassion, one of the virtues the Sun Spears follow. I seek counsel with the gods. You have traveled long and far to get here. Go then and take with you the seal of compassion. Okay. That was easy. That was easy. Spin more. Did it overspin? There it goes. Who's next? Gundayo. Who are you? Pass into truth, prove yourself. I will give you the seal of honesty. Who are you? We are handmaidens of Cormir. My name is Gundayo, which means honesty. I am ready for your test. All right, well, at the market, you witness your father picking, pickpocketing, father pocketing several pieces of fruit without paying. 
A city guard approaches and accuses you of stealing the fruit. What do you do? I can either feign ignorance, empty my pockets to show I haven't stolen anything. I can tell the guards that my father was planning to pay for the fruit. Or I can tell the guards that your father took the fruit and sincerely apologize. We're going to do that one. That sounds like the right one. You have answered correctly. Go and take with you the seal of Gundayo. Honestly upheld. You have proven yeah, but now your father doesn't look. Oh well. Nope, I just went to try and put it in the wrong one. I am bad at paying attention to little things. Disappointment. Spin the spinny circle bit. We got... Is that it? Uh, there should be one more. I don't see any... Oh, there we yes, go. Yes, far. Yes, far is far away. Alley oop! To gain, one must be willing to give. That is the true nature of sacrifice. Who are you? I am Yasfar. I am here to remind the Sun Spears of the importance and meaning of sacrifice. While I seek an audience with the gods. Then prepare yourself for nothing is worthy... Nothing of worth is given up lightly. Oh, it's fighting time! Uh-huh. He says he's off probably climbing and jumping off rocks. I'm coming to hell! I am... Well, well now you're... I'm sad. I, I was about to say I was at the highest point in the instance, but there's a higher point. Uh oh, now, I'm... now he's got to go get it. Just disappointing. But do you see how high up I am? No, I am staring at the sun spirit. We're fighting a ghost. Stop it. Hey, Ghostbusters, that's not your job. Look, if it fights me, I'm gonna stab it. I don't care whose job it is. Maybe the Ghostbusters should have gotten to be. here sooner and busted this ghost so I wouldn't have had to stab it. Alright, I'm coming back. Too late, fight's over, man. You have passed my test. Splat. <laughs> Alright, last seal. We Now we have to spin it. Oh, it spun itself. You have persevered. The path is now open to you. Jump for joy. Look, a portal. Yes. So, Casimir, when we meet more of your gods, I hope they're a little less hostile than the last one we met. With our luck, I bet they're as crazy as Balthazar is. Watch Balthazar's the sane it. one. Both of you, we're here for answers. And spitting in the face of the gods isn't going to help us get them. Show some respect. She's right. If Balthazar demonstrated anything, it's that the gods aren't to be taken lightly. Let's tread carefully here. We don't know who's watching. Me. I'm watching. The audience. Enter the oh, portal. Oh, it's Jesus! Enter the port. There we go. The Sanctum! Except. It is very bright in here. That's so pretty, though. It just looks lucky mm -hmm. to me. There's a spiral staircase behind us. I don't. I can't. I have just have yeah. this. I, I just have this, this yellow haze. Bright yellow haze. All over my screen. I don't know how to make it stop. Um, let me play I, with. I don't think you do. But it's obnoxiously bright. Are you two seeing the same thing? No, it's kind of misty. I got blue misty stuff. Yeah, I got obscenely bright yellowish crap. Uh, there. If I turn oh, off no, post processing, it goes away. Yep, there it is. Well, okay. Post-processing. Which means, I wonder if it's actually supposed to be like that. No. I think this is how it's supposed to be. <laughs> and they just broke it for post-processing. Probably. Oh, they all bow when you go through. I see how it is. I'm the main character. True. But I'm the human. So? 
I'm Cormier. Yeah, I'm blinded. This must be Cormier. And yeah, now I'm blind. Hail to you, goddess of truth. We need your help. Kaz, go ahead. I... Thank you, Commander. Oh, we have come is. to you seeking guidance and aid in dark times. Will you hear our plea? Rise, Lady Moon. Please, continue. Balthazar <laughs> has emerged from the mist to bring ruin to Tyria. He it's formed to slay Krokatoric, and if he succeeds, the imbalance it brings could... You... <laughs> You know all of this already, don't you? Indeed. We cannot defeat him on our own. For the sake of Tyria, Goddess Cormir, please, we beg your aid. I'm sorry, Lady Mead. There is nothing I can do. I... Please excuse me, Goddess. Perhaps I wasn't clear. We can't hope to defeat Balthazar without the aid of the six. Or the five. Balthazar is one of the six. No, he isn't. Balthazar has been stripped of his claim and title. He is no longer one of the six. Stripped of? He's in Tyria as we speak, leading an army. He claims to be the god of war. Come and see for yourselves. Perhaps then you'll understand. What if Balthazar so. is actually Abaddon? <laughs> the gods saw there could be no I got it, guys. It's Gwen from the first game. Conflict with the Elder Dragons. Waging war with them could only lead to the destruction of Tyria. And we, the Six, would be the match that would start the blaze. And so, we chose to withdraw from Tyria altogether and spare this world further calamity. Or rather, most of us chose to. Cowards! You, you may flee, but I will not. I, I do not avoid conflict. I am conflict. The, the Elder Dragons will die by my hands, and their power will become my power. Balthazar is blinded by his pride. The dragons are beyond even the gods. A raw, primal force without equal. Whether he won or lost, by his death or theirs, Balthazar's ambitions would bring about the end of Tyria. The rest of the six, Duena, Brent, Melandru, even Lissa reached an agreement. Balthazar had to be dealt with. If, if you won't join the fight against the dragons, I'll see you all burn with them. Cowards! All of you! We stripped him of his power, and chained him in the mists. There he would remain, forever. Powerless to carry out his plans. Not, not these words! When I'm free, I will strike you all down, and claim your power for my own! I, I will not be dismissed! I am Balthazar, mightiest of the six! And I, and I swear to you. You will scream your allegiance before the end. He would be there now, if not for a certain char and his search for an old, extinguished blade. Way to fuck it up, Ritlock. Yeah. Um, Jeez. Sorry about that. Char are the Undo worst. This wrong. The means are within your grasp. 
That was a hell of a fist pound that Balthazar did there. It shook the right? room. Return to this world. Balthazar disguised himself as Lazarus with Lissa's mirror. The only magic powerful enough to hide the truth from our eyes. By the time the ruse was revealed, the other gods had already departed. And soon, I will join them. You don't have to go. You could stay. Fight with us. You asked for a war between the gods. Do you not know the cost of such a battle? Have you not learned of the last time the gods stood against one of their own? Against Abaddon? It was a mess. Thirteen hundred years ago, Abaddon and his army of fanatics waged a war ranging across the shores and islands of the Crystal Sea. The battle was so ferocious that the ocean boiled away, leaving behind the desert you see today. When the gods finally struck down Abaddon, his fall warped and ravaged these lands, creating the desolation. Abaddon remained a fallen god, imprisoned for a thousand years, until he rose to threaten Tyrion one last time. A mortal hero led a mission to stop him, and against all odds, succeeded. But then... Abaddon is breaking up! Incredible! All that knowledge! It's running wild! It will destroy everything! I can contain the power! Ponyer, no! I was there to contain the damage. But by then it was too late. The surge of power upended the balance of magic interior, and stirred Primordus from his slumber, triggering this latest cycle of destruction. There is no victory to be found in a war between the gods. Only casualties. I understand, but we don't have the choice you have. We have to fight. Balthazar doesn't care whether he destroys Tyria. He said so himself. Please, Goddess. If there's any way we can convince you to stay... No, Kaz. This isn't their war. It's ours. Kazmir. My dear child. You never needed our help. You were already on the path. Follow the trail of last. Restore what has been broken. The answers you seek are in the desert. I wish you good fortune, Commander. It's time. I must join the others. Goddess Cormir, before you go. Yes. Thank you. For everything. You carry with you the blessings of all the gods. Never forget that. Now that's like three achievements ticked off right there. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's three of them unlocked. Just wait just to watch her leave. Cabs, are you all right? Just processing, Commander. What Cormier said. I was angry, confused, but it's time we stand on our own. Tyria is ours to protect. I know that now. So, what now? Are we to comb the desert for a clue? Because, as you may have noticed, comb the desert. There's a lot of desert. We need a really if that's big what comb. It takes, yes. You heard Cormier. We're on our own from here on out. So par for the course. So we search the desert, but we do it smart. We'll split up and search systematically. Yeah, you found shit. I'd like to return to the Temple of Cormier anyway. 
The refugees there may have information we can use. And I've got some news to share with them, too. Good, Kanak. I'll head for the desert near Amnun. I may also check in with my contacts in the Order of Shadows. We might be able to shed some light on things. Ritlock, go with him. I'll take the Riverlands to the south. Let's work our contacts, speak with the scouts, anybody who might be able to help us in our search. About that, what are we searching for, exactly? The way forward. That's all I've got at the moment. <laughs> well, we've done more with less. Let's get to it. Okay, we can step through the portal and return to Tyria, or we can poke around the place first. Explore the library! Of course we're going to poke around the place. There's pokeables, like the Book of there Secrets right here. There are 15 books and scrolls in here. That's a lot of pokeables. Dive from the highest point in Cormier's library. Well. Working on it. <laughs> read all the books. <laughs> find Cormier's secret room. I'm going to read the Book of Secrets. Book of Secrets. Continue reading. The pages are filled with text, but the words seem to fade as you try to read them and reappear when they look when you look away. You would be a well, cheeky exciting. to awful you book. How about the scriptures of Cormier? And so it came to pass that Spear Marshal Cormier, hero of all Alona, was pulled into the inky blackness surrounding the God of Secrets. And though her sight had been robbed, her body racked, and her spirit flayed, she remained resolute. And through her power, and their combined skill and bravery, and the blessings of the five true gods, did Abaddon at last face his ultimate defeat. Yet the power of a god cannot be destroyed, and Cormier, making a choice that only a mortal could make, did take upon herself the mantle of the goddess of truth. And so by mortal hands did a new immortal enter creation. Let's read the Sunspear Creed. Sunspear Creed. The Sunspears were born... You know, I don't think i this point. The Sunspears mm -hmm. were born of a need to protect a nation. By joining this order, we declare our dedication to the people of Alona. We will defend Alona from every threat, whether large or small, martial, mystical, or supernatural. We will strike down foes and lift up allies. A Sunspear never fights alone. We will live in accordance with the eight virtues. Valor, humility, honor, honesty, justice, compassion, sacrifice, and loyalty. We respect all, but answer only to our own. We are the unbreakable wall to shelter the innocent, the unstoppable arrow to pierce the enemy, the unsuppressed voice of support and resistance. Okay. You didn't find the dive goggles? They were up there. No, they were, but that's just not the highest point. I got it, though. I mean, there was at least that... the roof of the building right behind you. Yeah. I'm not the highest point. But it's well, the point it's that counts for the achievement. I take my raptor upstairs. Oh no! I take Why? my raptor upstairs. Holmes raptor. McDenna, age nine. Peek at the writing inside. Have to tell the truth or you will have no friends. He likes a liar, makes up stories, and pretends. Okay. Let's go diving! Wee! The artist's smear, how art reflects society. Yeah. So this place is kind of big. A little bit. Yeah. Let's go since we are going. Let's see what's up this spiral staircase. The thing is, where are they going? Ooh, Deeper good. into the mists? <laughs> like, we have to leave Tyria, but... We're in the mists, so you've already done that. Well, we gotta go to the mist Four. mists. Or gotta going, go back. They're going to the void. To the future. The void beckons them. Because I know they, they came to Tyria from somewhere else. But did they come to the mists from somewhere else prior to that also? I don't remember. We're gonna have to go up all these spiral staircases, aren't we? I think they're all connected at the top. Some of them, yeah. I can see you guys in the distance. Don't, no, no, no! No! Did you fall? Alright, so that's not a way you can go. Oh boy. Oh. 
This is a oh. very large area. What is this? Hello. Did you find the secret library? That looks like a ramp. I'm gonna jump to I it. I found the secret library. Me and but yes, what I was looking for. Oh, and it's where so many of the books are. The Journal of Cormier. Alright. Ouch. Dear Diary, today I became a god. Well, it's a good thing raptors go crunch. Nope, this one's going swimming. <laughs> hey, I found another book over here. I just have to get out of the water to get to it. We too can be vassals of knowledge and truth. As written by the priestesses of the Temple of Cormir. Of the goddess of truth which demonstrates to us how a life can be true. Human, we mortals can make the choice that she made as mortal. Lots of dot dot dots and ellipses. Our art reflects society. It's from the Xing Jay Monastery. Blah, 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 from the Xingjie Monastery. Decorated with vivid paints made from both plant and material. Dot, dot, dot. Representing elements of story from the brightest golds to... Dot, dot, dot. So. I have to find my way to the secret library now. Before I do that, I'm going to run around the outskirts of the bottom floor and make sure I haven't missed any books. Because going up and down all the spiral staircases is a wee hey. bit time-consuming. His name is Terai Osa. Hey, that sounds like a familiar name. This is his greatest battle. Where he... Was it against cancer? No, I don't think so. No, that staircase leads right into a bookcase. <laughs> it's not very helpful at all. Boing! I have a cipher and I need to use it on something. Magic and War. Educated Warning. Circa 199DR. Dot dot dot. Until state of soldiers and civilians alike. I am willing to provide proof. Dot dot dot. Sincerest opinion that the root of these ongoing conflicts is quite cold. Dot dot dot. Come on, people. Did nobody write incomplete sentences? Nope. No. This is a really cool place. I wish I didn't have to go through that whole instance to get here. Yeah, it would be nice. Otherwise, the whole be, instant would be a fun place to RP. You know, if you could get here without doing an entire story mission. Yeah. I right. really still not found the way in. No, no I've been on the bottom way. floor. I haven't been back okay. up to the top since I fell off. It's not at the top. It's not at the top. Not at the That's top. It, it is, is it underwater? Maybe. That's a yes. Down we go, rabbits! How are you? My rabbit just sizzled as it Sploosh. went underwater. New build! New game yes, yes, we have boss. Alright, where's the thing? Is that the thing? It looks like a thing. I think I'm heading the wrong way. <laughs> now we all swim around underwater like nincompoops because we actually <laughs> believed what he told us and he's chuckling. Yeah. It's over here, guys. It's an underwater entrance. Haha, it was underwater. underwater Ooh. Boom. Oh my. So I wasn't heading the wrong way. You were we just lied me. to me. You were coming towards me. That was the wrong way. Actually, I was headed towards Matt. Oh. 
I, meanwhile, have failed my navigation check. Meh. I'm clearly missing a book, and I don't know where it is. I found it. Ah, yeah! Oh, underwater entrance, wherefore art thou? It's right here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right there? Mm -hmm. Show me. Alright, well that's one. Ah, there it is. Journal. Use the cipher key to unlock the journal. Ha ha. Wah. Yay. Let's click all the things in here. Catalog by genre. Reminder, books are not to be removed from the private library. Let's flip through the catalog. Catalog contains a list after list of books and documents, ranging from religious texts to history books to personal journals. Let's see. A row of books. How to trade shapes culture. Cormier sacrifices are sacrifice. The unwilling monk and autobiography. Traditional North there are folk flying songs. Books in here. Flying books? Yeah. As I was falling down, a, a flock of books just went huh. by. I guess it's better than a flock of geese. I'm going to read the Cormier's journal. Journal of Cormier. Knowledge is a protean thing, ever growing and expanding. My librarians work ceaselessly to record it all and keep it in order. As the living record record of everything that ever was, we can do no less. The end of my time here approaches, and I find my thoughts straying. Perhaps Lissa was right to mock me for lingering behind. The destruction of Tyria is inevitable, yet there is a part of me that still remembers what it was like to be normal. What it is to hope. I hate to leave my homeland, my people, and my memories behind, but I am no longer a spear marshal, no longer a citizen of Alona, no longer human, and my responsibilities extend far beyond this world. Oh yeah, they're definitely going to space or something. Let's read a book about the first city. I am missing two. Foreigner was once a great city on the island of Istan, where the Istani civilization first set roots, ruled by the primeval kings, and where the Sun Spear Guard first came to be. The Scarab Plague all but devastated the city, and the few survivors fled, abandoning the first city to ruin. It has not been inhabited since, except by a bunch of zombies and stuff, which we found way back in Nightfall, when we went there Killed. to do things. What Didn't stuff? Cormier mess with stuff there? The Goddess and the Scourge. Cormier's rise to godhood was a blessing to the Sun Spears and a beacon of hope to people across Tyria. Her new power was a boon to those who followed her. Sadly, it also ignited a jealousy that would lead to the downfall of the Order of the Sun Spears. Ever an enemy, Palawa Joko's efforts to wipe them out intensified. Ruining the Sun Spears, whose Spear Marshal had reached such great heights, bolstered Joko's ego and helped secure his position as a true threat to Ilona. Yeah, definitely should have uh, put him back. <laughs> Dry story. The life for me. His name is Tarai Asa. This is his greatest battle. Two hundred years ago, the armies of the undead Lord Palawa Joko swarmed out of the desert. War Marshal Asa gathered forces from every town and village in the valley of the River Alon. He marshaled a great army in the broad lands near the Great Grand Cataract. Tarai's advance through the canyons was stymied by undead guardians, then corsair mercenaries. In time, though, Tarai and his men reached Joko's camp. The two leaders faced off high above the warring armies. There, in full view of their respective followers, Tarai bested Joko, and the undead lord fell from his lofty height. Tarai's bodyguards imprisoned the undead lord where no one would ever disturb him. Tarai also would always be known as the greatest champion of Elona. They didn't do it well enough because we totally disturbed him. How about treacherous waters? The Corsair Threat Lawless, untrustworthy, and self-serving Corsairs have been a thorn in the side of seafarers and land dwellers alike for far too long. Though Corsairs claim to follow a code that dictates proper behavior, this code does not extend to non-Corsairs, and they are free to treat outsiders as they please. Any who attempt to make deals with Corsa Corsairs should keep an eye out for treachery. Even if you pay them, there's a chance they'll sell out to a higher bidder after the mission begins. Untitled volume? That's... Touch it. 
This book has no title. It is filled with tables of letters and numbers. Now I got that cipher key. Yep, and you use it on the journal that's at that top ring in the middle of the room. Oh, I must have missed that. Palace of Bones, the centaur tragedy. I did it. By Anonymous. However opinions of the centaur people vary, it is an undeniable fact that Palawa Joko's merciless slaughter of centaurs in Alona was utterly contemptible. After suffering terrible enslavement, many were killed to further the tyrant's experiments with bone manipulation, ultimately resulting in the massive structure he calls his Bone Palace. These victims must not be forgotten, though how could anyone forget as Palawa Joko displays his spoils of war so prominently? Alright, well, let's go open the last thing, because that's the last book that I need. Oh, yeah. Right, no, we just gotta it. find it. I know where it is. All the way See, up at the top. You. I do, because he already went and found it. I've already got the achievement. <laughs> Can't all be missed fancy pants. Oh, but we can if we get pants that are quite fancy. Running up the stairs, stairs, stairs running stairs, up the stairs. stairs, stairs. Raptors racing up the stairs. When See, you look at these stairs and you're like, Cormier, why would you build these stairs like this? And then you remember that you could probably just teleport, so they're probably for show. Probably. Not meant to actually be used. Show me <laughs> journalistic integrity. As I have none, for I am not a journalist. Hey, look, there's a journal on the wall over there. This book is unreadable. The letters are familiar, but the order makes no sense. Perhaps it's some sort of cipher. Hey! Funny, I have that. Undated entry. I still have not received a response from my handler. I'm switching to writing in code because I don't know if this will ever reach my superiors. Undated entry. I have been attempting to reach my contacts whenever I get can get away from my post. They tell me there is conflict growing within the Order of Whispers. Undated entry. My handler contacted me. She says she is joining a new a group called the Order of Shadows, and I should leave my post and follow her. Undated entry. I have learned that the Order of Shadows is a structured resistance against Palawa Joko. I am taking my handler's advice and leaving my post to join the new order. Well, already. I got a mini Sunspear Cormier! Ooh. But you know what it's not? It's not a Terrorgriff. So... It's not a Professor Mew. No, it is not. So, is everybody done in here? I am. Almost. You're okay. <laughs> life for me. Did you oh, get yeah? Crunch on the floor. Oh, he did. And mm. crunch goes the synapse. I Whee! don't have an option to revive, too. The it's Whee! like you can consume a revive orb. I'm like, well, I'm not doing that. Whoa. That would be silly. Whee! Let's go pick up our Silvari. Oh, you just missed the water. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. Well, all right. Never happened. Okie dokie. But it did. I have proof on video. You can deny it all you want, but I'm going to take the portal back out of the mists. Proof! Is the proof in the pudding? Well. Hey, all right. I accept. I got a box of stuff. I got a box of stuff. Divine reliquary. Well, all right, Fine. ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for this part. <gasps> Mark, I think you ended up in a different instance than the two of us. <laughs> I see this. Anyways, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play at some point in the future that might make for a good series like this... Or, if you just wish to give me a shout, give me some feedback, let me know how I'm doing. Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? If I'm doing bad, what can I do to go from doing bad to doing good? Or, if you just wish to inform me that I am a terrible person because I peeked in Cormier's journal and read her secret thoughts, 
Ooh. You may do so in the comment box below. PC and PS4 only for recording suggestions, as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever I post up any new videos, and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction, so maybe they might potentially swing by and be entertained by the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. I'm Nano Elite 666 These have been my co-hosts, Mr. Weeges and Mr. Peanuts. Hi. Words. And we will Words. see you all next time. Words.